Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and <laughs> I apologize for my video not being up this morning. I did like I always do. I do as much as I can until I'm about to fall asleep. I mean, everybody in the house is asleep and it said I had two hours and 40 minutes left or whatever. So I knew I couldn't wait that long. And so I went ahead and published it and went to bed and I got it this morning and it was still stuck at the two hours and 40 minutes. And it kind of scared me because I had a lot of trouble with that, um, that, the clips that I took loading. John had to reboot my computer and all kinds of stuff. So I was a little afraid that I had lost something and, you know, some file wasn't there and it wasn't going to load or something. But I believe it just loaded. I, I know it did. I just checked on it. So, sorry for that. It scared me. <laughs> because it's, I can't, it's very, very hard to do a video over again. Because you don't know what you've said. And, I don't know, you just don't feel the same once you've already said it, you know. So, but I did forget to show you something very good that I got this week. And it is the T3 Single Pass Flat Iron. And, <laughs> the funny thing is, I used this, I've used it a couple times on my bangs. Because I've been having to flat iron my bangs. And for those of you that want the bang video, I did um, text Meredith. And I'm going to see, I haven't heard back from her yet, but it was late last night when I did. Um, but I texted her to see if she had loaded or was going to load that video that she sent me. I don't want to take it if she's going to load it. And if she's not, then I'll try to load it on my channel. But, um, mine are getting to the point now where I'm kind of, it's, I'm almost at the point where I can start doing them back again. And I think that's the fun of bangs is, you know, I don't think any of us think when we cut bangs that we're going to leave them there forever. It's just fun to cut them and then kind of enjoy every, style on the whole way of them growing out. So now they're kind of at that point where I've either got to get the center of them cut and let them start growing like that or just let all of them grow. I'm not sure. I'm going to ask Morgan what she thinks. So anyway, I um, very seldom do I straighten my hair. And one of the main reasons is is because I've got so many layers that it just doesn't look as thick and doesn't look as nice and it seems like it gets dirtier faster but I always have to flat iron my bangs because even when I blow dry them they still just need that extra smoothing but when I got this I thought you know since I've got these extensions the hair halo couture hair extension and I am going to do a video on that soon and I think I had only gotten like four comments but a couple of them were you were saying you liked me doing the videos downstairs and that is a little bit easier to do some videos like hair things that videos that I have to take stuff to the table will be much easier down there because I have more room and it's closer to my bedroom and um, so I might do like some hair tutorials and can definitely do I feel like better makeup tutorials plus I have all that you know all those windows across the front of my house that gives me that natural light so that is something I wanted to tell you but, um, so anyway, I decided to straighten my hair the other night and straighten my halo couture. I was very scared about that because I didn't know if I'd ever be able to curl it back the way she had it. So I didn't straighten it out completely. But I will insert some pictures right here of when I had it straight. I loved it. It looked so pretty. And I loved it. And that night was the night that the whole Paris thing was going on. It was just a bad night, um, Thursday night. Brooke and I had gone to Home Goods kind of later in the evening. Um, John was having to replace the handle and everything on um, their toilet in their bathroom. It was just a crazy night. And so I did not get to take a shower. And I thought, well, that's okay. I'll just show them my straight hair. And it just didn't look good on my last video. I think. Just by the time I slept on it, I didn't blend my little halo thing in very well because it's harder to blend in straight hair. But anyway, who who cares? Big deal. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to tell you about this because it is a really nice flat iron. And it has a couple of features that are really, really important to me. And I was going to tell you, and I've got to sneeze. Okay. First of all, it has ceramic plates. Ceramic and tourmaline, I believe which is one of the most important things to keep your heat 
steady and constant and even throughout the whole plate. That way you don't get any really hot spots that could break your hair. And the ceramic is supposed to be more, you know, brightening, not brightening, smoothing, and um, makes your hair look glossy and everything like that. Then I love that the plates are beveled because when I flat iron my hair, I usually take a section just like I do with my curling iron. I comb it out and then I take that flat iron and I kind of do like that with it. I don't pull it down real straight. If I do, I would still bevel it under, but what I like to do is kind of pull them out. That way I feel like I'm still getting a little bit of volume. So I love the beveled plates. I love that it is the one inch because then that makes it easier for me to do my bangs. The other flat iron that I had, the Babilis, was a little too thick to do that. I was having to use my Enzo. And my Enzo did a good job, but my Enzo does not have the control, like the climate control or temperature control. And this one does. What you do is you turn it on and then all five of these little lights light up. And I believe... Um, when they're all lit up or either they flash, I can't remember, but you'll know when it's all done, it has fast heat up. Then you, I believe, double click this and you can adjust the heat settings. And I did it on the next to the hottest one because I've noticed with my bangs, they're stubborn and I need a little bit hotter than usual to get them smoothed out. And it didn't seem crazy hot or anything. But I'm going to see, I'm going to go down one more next time and see if it'll do the job. Because you want it on the least amount of heat as you can get. And then another feature that I love about it is it has the auto shut off. Which is one of the main reasons that I always get the GHD for Brooke. Because I want to know that if she forgets, she's gotten much, much better. But when she was like 14 and 15, you know, I would hear that thing beeping. <laughs> you know, like it was getting ready to shut off. And um, that's what this does. I believe it shuts off, I believe it said after an hour. But um, it might be a little bit less than that. But anyway, and it's so pretty. It's got the little rose gold T3. And um, I just really like it. If I didn't, I just, I just wouldn't tell you about it. <laughs> and then it came with two of these clips, which I am terrible about doing that. I know I should clip up half of my hair. But the only time I ever use clips is when I'm clipping the rest of my hair away from my bangs to, so I can smooth those out real easily. These are like major, strong, strong clips. So if you are someone who sections your hair off, I believe that you will like these. They're really, really strong. And then the last thing that it comes with, which I thought was kind of neat, is this little pad that goes down on your counter so you can lay it on your counter and not feel like it's going to burn your counter. I usually don't worry about that because my countertops have had it. Um, that's My bedroom is kind of on my list of things this year. Every year, like in the spring, we usually spend money on something, you know, replacing like the year before last we did my room and repainted all downstairs and replaced the carpet. And um, I believe we also did the hardwood floors in um, Brooke's bedroom and in the hallway. And then this year, it wasn't as exciting, but we did tree removal. We had, I think, 13 trees taken down. And then John spent some money in the yard and did some things like that. And um, so next year, what I would like to do is tackle my bedroom. And I need to take up the carpet. I want to repaint. I want to redo my bathroom. And then when I get that done, then I'll probably be more prone to do hair tutorials and stuff in my bathroom. But right now, it's nothing exciting and, you know. So anyway, um, and I would love to get new countertops in my bathroom. Right now, they're just like the white marble. And next time, I might do something a little different. But um, anyway, so if you have beautiful countertops, if, if it were in my kitchen, I would definitely put this down because I love my kitchen countertops. We did that a couple years. I guess we'd been living here about... I don't know, five or six years, and then we put the granite countertops in. Because when we were building our house, you know, we were, Brooke was a baby. We, you know, built this ourselves, had bought the property and everything, and um, we tried to just do the max on a lot of really important things, and then we kind of cut back on some things we knew we could do over later. So that's what we did. We chose to spend our money in windows and 
siding and like our marble fireplace and stuff like that. And then we knew later on we could go back and do like upgrades on other things. So that's a little history of my home, <laughs> which most of you knew that I, that we built our house and everything. I'm very attached to my house and I, like when I was coming home from the beach, you know, when we were staying down there, there's just, and I feel the same way about my parents' house that I grew up in. There is just no better feeling than pulling up in my driveway, either one. And my parents' house has a real distinct smell. You know how different soils and different trees and just different atmospheres, they don't even live, they only live 10 minutes away, but their house has a different smell their yard and everything. And then ours has a different smell and I just love it. It's such a calming feeling. And I know a lot of people really love to move and they're getting bigger and better houses. And I've told Brooke before, you know, we could live in a bigger house, but I love this house. We're attached to it. It's my home. And um, I just, I love the feeling of, I just love the feeling of being here and I hope, I always think, I hope that you love your home like I do mine. I'm really attached to it and it is also a good feeling to know no matter what happens, nothing's, we're never going to lose it because we have paid so much of it off and it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's not like we ever got above what we could afford and then that way we can afford to do other things that we do like eat out every day and stuff like that. So I don't know what got me on that tangent, but Anyway, so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I'll try to get this uploaded soon. And um, let me know if you have any questions. I can't remember if there was anything else. I always forget to tell you something in every video. And um, I will see you real soon. And, oh, my accessories. I don't have anything on. I am copying a look. It's a strapless um, Susanna Monaco. It has like a really nice built-in shelf bra and then this fabric is really thick and stretchy. And then I have on a, let me see if I can get this, just a little, it's a long skirt, like all the way, a knit skirt just that goes below the knee. And um, I was looking on Pinterest. I was kind of watching the news and sad as it is, and um, looking at Pinterest, and I just, like I do every once in a while, put, put in Carrie Bradshaw, and she had on an outfit like this with some little flippy shoes, kind of like the Nine West ones that I have, but I think I'm going to keep on my Javianas just because John is in a golf tournament today, and so the kids and I are going to check out a new restaurant that we saw that um, closes at 3, so a lot of times John won't be able to go with us, and it um, serves brunch and stuff, so we're going to go check that out. We like to do that. Um, the kids and I like to go to different restaurants, and then if we like it, then we'll take John back. We wanted to go see the uh, new Dogs uh, movie that's out, but John wants to see it with us, so we're going to wait for him. And um, so I think that's it. So I hope you have a good day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.